So I've had a few requests lately about clearance if you want to get a toolbox or a fuel tank for the bed. This is particularly for short bed rams. So if you have a 6.4 mega cab or crew cab, this is going to be perfect for you. So I have the Reese Goose Box and this allows me to tow my fifth wheel like a gooseneck. Um, I did, or I am going to be doing a video on this, I promise. I've already got the footage, I just have to edit it. But the problem with this is it does kind of protrude out a little bit as you can see how the top of this comes out more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys some measurements here. Now two things you have to take note of, depending on how tall and wide your bed cover is, you do have this top of the bed piece here that kind of protrudes out a little bit more. And on each side of the bed, on this side, you can kind of see it comes out too. And figure that's probably about two and a half inches or so, maybe three inches. Now, I would recommend if you're looking at toolboxes or a fuel tank for the bed, you're going to want to have a short one. And you're going to want to have one that can maybe fit in between this area here. You see what I'm saying right there? That way you have a little bit more space. And I probably wouldn't come out more than maybe... 10 inches but you know what it doesn't matter what i think let's go ahead and measure right now i have my tape measure here now the first measurement i'm going to give you is for the top of the bed here so let me just put the phone down for a second so i can get it ready for you all righty so here's the first measurement it's about 25 and a half inches away from this top piece here and let me show you how far away it is down here okay and I apologize I can't show it to you a little bit better, but I did measure it just now and it's basically 27 inches. So below this line here, so I guess it's probably protruding out about two inches versus three inches. And one thing you have to consider is this, because this pin box does pivot, this area of the pin box might protrude out a little bit more. So if you figure if this is um, turning in, you probably wanna be at least maybe 18 inches deep i would say so if i were to get the tape measure again and let me see if i can do this unfortunately my light's not here but um let's see so i would say at the most i would go out 20 inches um if you can get one below this part of the bed or i would say 18 inches deep if you can't find one because that's probably going to give you just enough room to clear this. So when you're making a turn, if this comes out, it could come into contact with whatever you have here. So that's what I'm trying to point out here. If I have a chance when I pull out, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But the last measurement I'll show you guys is how far the uh, part of the top of this comes out from the ball. So let me just show it to you really quickly. Alrighty, so you should guys see where I have the tape measure down here. It's saying about 13 and a half inches. But if you want it to be a little bit more centered with the ball down here, knock off about an inch. So figure about 12 and a half inches if I were to come about right here. So literally, it comes out about 12 and a half inches or so. So hopefully that helps. Um, I think couple people had different questions and i think i answered all of them in this video so thanks again just a quick video and if you have any other questions feel free to ask see you soon so really quickly i have the pin box turned in a little bit here and i'm showing about 23 and a half so it doesn't really affect it too much and that's at the highest point on the bed here so just knock off two inches so basically it'd be 25 and a half if it was lower. But yeah, about 23 and a half right there. 